okay. Uh, stretching. Oh, couch. Is, is that code? <laughs> to 5K. What? I'm doing a couch to 5K. Oh, like a running program for people who don't run. <laughs> is this a new thing? It just started tonight. Seriously. You you want to do it with me? You knew. Oh, come on. It doesn't seem like much couch is involved. <laughs> but yeah, no thanks. Did you start off running a K or something? I, I don't know. I, I think I blacked out for a minute. How much is a K anyway? What is that in like miles? Uh, no clue. It's British. Oh, it's not British. Well, we don't use the metric system, but the Brits use the metric system. Ergo. No, darling, don't say ergo when making a point. It's pretentious. Aha! Uh -huh. I made a point. <laughs> Only to me. A normal person would have signed off by now. Oh, uh, but we are not normal people. No. I love that we are so in sync. In sync? I love that. The only thing you love is your couch and cheese and Terry. Mm. Yes, I do love my couch. I miss my couch. Well, it's right behind you. Get reacquainted. Mm. I can. I'm all sweaty and funky. How much did you run? I don't know. It, Felt like a lot. How much? 60 seconds. What? 60 seconds, but like 60 seconds over and over and over until you want to die. And then the beep tells you that you're finished and sees you. You're a mess. No, I love that beep. I love it. There's a lot of love on this Zoom tonight. What's the matter? You ran out of puffs on your inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You do 60 seconds over and over until the beep. No, thanks. Come on, Ange. Do it with me. No. Get Terry to do it with you. Your weirdo girlfriend actually thinks running is fun. Please. Ask Terry. Angela, please. Oh, I hate running. And you hate running. And we have a beautiful mutual hatred for running. Probably gonna quit anyway. Okay, quit. Come on, I don't want to quit. Please do it with me. Please, please, please. Why are you doing this? Thought it would be a good idea. Since when? Since, I don't know. Forever. You have wanted to take up running your whole life? Well, not running per se, just, you know, fitness. Endorphins and stuff. Well, now you're just saying a bunch of words. And I, I feel like a work in progress, only I haven't actually started the progress. You have lost me. The cones are up, but the crew hasn't come to start the construction or deconstruction. And what what are the cones in this scenario? Ianja, I'm a flop. A what? I'm, you know. <laughs> you are not. I am. I used to think I was a thin person with fat qualities, but now I know. You're a regular person with delusional qualities. Hmm, maybe, but 
I'm also fat. You are not fat. And anyway, everyone in Philly is fat. The food is delicious and plentiful. And we loathe ourselves for loving it so much. That's why we're all so happy and grumpy. It's quite beautiful. Terry's not grumpy. Terry's from Pittsburgh. Terry's never grumpy. Terry's your example? Terry. Terry forgets to eat breakfast. Terry dislikes cheese. Terry runs for fun. Does that sound like a normal person? No. I think we've just said Terry too many times. It no longer sounds like a real name. Terry. 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 Aunt. Terry. Terry. Nope. That's weird. It's gone. It's not a name anymore. Might as well call her Flurg. Oh, Jesus. Flurg. Angela. What? She thinks I've let myself go. She said that? Mm -hmm. She didn't have to. Meaning? She used all the other words. What other words? Tell me exactly what she said. So, the other day, I was chilling on the couch. Mm -hmm. Maybe she was jealous. We've already established that you do love your couch. Shut up. And I was in my flannel lounge pants and that t-shirt I bought at that gas station that time right after college when I spilled that jar of baby kosher dill pickles all over myself. Pickled pajamas, got it. Mm -hmm. And I had a bowl of ice cream in my lap. Ooh, vanilla with hot fudge and a dollop of creamy peanut butter? Yes, yes. It's like a giant melted Reese's Pieces cup in your mouth. It's perfection, and Terry knows that. Terry doesn't like peanut butter. I know. It makes me sad for her. Anyway, I was in for the night. Obviously. Mm -hmm. And she says, What? She says, Lauren, you want to take a walk with me or something? <laughs> hey, Ange, are you frozen? Can you hear me? Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Don't shake your head at me. Mm -mm. You weren't there. It was her tone. You're ridiculous. Well, you always take her side. I take the side of sanity. Oh, okay. I'm crazy. Okay. Listen to this. The other night, I made brownies. And it was just one of those tiny square pans. You know. Eight by eight or nine by nine? Eight by eight. Okay, thick, fudgy ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Anyway. We went through them pretty quickly, and Terry says to me, did you finish the brownies? As in, how many brownies can you cram into your pie hole, Flumpy? Stop it. She would never say that to you. You weren't there. I don't have to be. I know Flurg. She's so friggin' sweet that it makes my teeth hurt. Super annoying. More annoying than this conversation. I'm sorry to bother you with my problems. Laura, you don't have problems. You have these extravagant imaginings that bear no resemblance to reality. So, let's see. You called me to tell me that you have literally just taken up running, which you hate, and you want me to do it with you, when your runner girlfriend would be thrilled to run with you, so that we can apparently hate it together. All because you have read between the lines of what the aforementioned runner girlfriend has said, and decided that every breath of her being believes that you are flumpy, which you have never seemed to care about before, which isn't even a word, which means that what you're actually calling to tell me in your weird, wandering, worn way is that... We broke up. And there it is. You know what our other friends do when they want to talk about something? 
They call me up and they talk about something. Doing! No, you're not. You just put on a whole one-act play complete with weird blocking and sound effects. And, and, and you probably weren't even out of breath. You probably sprayed yourself with water to look sweaty. <laughs> now who's delusional? Have you really taken up running? Yes. Because you have really decided you need to improve yourself. Yes. Because you really broke up with Terry. Yes. Well, why didn't you just tell me that? I don't know. You get weird when I talk about my relationships. Because you're always in one or on your way out of one. And these amazing people just like land in your lap. And then you find some stupid reason to find fault with them. No, I don't. You do. You push everyone away. All the good ones. What good ones? They're all good ones. Terry didn't call you fat. She couldn't. You look great. You looked great together, but it was too good. So you had to push her away. Lord, you freak out and you push everyone away. No, I don't. You do. Eventually, you do. I do not. Yeah, you do. And taking up running won't fix that. <gasps> that? That's harsh. What's really going on? Terry always looked at you like you had a glow around you that only she could see. So I know she didn't make you feel flumpy. I would kill for someone to look at me like that. Why did you really break up? I know you're not frozen. It was too much. What was? I... I didn't want to be stuck in this apartment with her anymore. And, and she... She actually liked it. I mean, all she wanted to do was, like, snuggle and watch movies and order weird Middle Eastern takeout. And, the horror. And I kept thinking that Maybe she was the one, you know, because everyone seemed to like her so much. You liked her so much. Or you seemed to like us together or something. And then I felt bad that I didn't want to snuggle and eat falafel with her. And I knew if I called you and told you that I didn't feel like it was working, that you would give me the hardest time about it, like you're doing right now. Ergo! Oh, shut up with the ergo. <sighs> Will you just stop and pay attention to me for a minute? What? I can do more than one thing at a time. Do I have to fake the running again? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew that was fake. It wasn't. But I feel like I'm faking it most of the time. And all these amazing people... They're not. They'll never be. <sighs> What's up? <sighs> Terry cheated on me. I haven't told anybody. Seriously? Hmm. It was just once. A couple of months ago. She kissed some chick named Adele something. She was a caterer at some event Terry had to go to. Well, that's ironic, considering Terry doesn't eat. <laughs> right? That's what I thought. I'm sorry. Hmm. The weird thing was, Terry did it in the hopes that it would get back to me. What? She said things had gotten off between us, and she was trying to figure out a way to fix it. By hooking up with someone else? Mm -hmm. She was grasping at straws. Such a flirt thing to do. 
You can't say that. You were always her biggest fan. No, I wasn't. I just thought you guys were happy, and I, I'm a fan of you being happy. Hmm. Why can't we ever just have a normal conversation? I have lots of normal conversations with friends. <laughs> I think we let go of a normal a long time ago. Back at Flurg or before? Long before. <laughs> If it were normal, how would this conversation have gone tonight? <laughs> hey, Lar, what's up? And then you would say... Nothing much. Really? Because you sound like you're down. Oh, yeah. Well... Terry and I broke up. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What happened? I didn't love her the way I thought I should have. Or the way everyone assumed I should have. And then she kissed someone else and I felt bad about that. But not because I was jealous. I felt bad that I wasn't. And I felt relieved to have an out. Hmm. Huh. Have you considered letting down your wall of humor and general weirdness? <gasps> general weirdness! <laughs> Shut up. Have you considered letting down your wall and just asking yourself what it is you do want if what you want never seems to be these incredible people who drift into your life? I know what I want. It doesn't mean I can have it. Well, how do you know? Because for the last 20 some years, there has been one constant in my life and you never seem to notice what that constant is. It's the one relationship that I never run away from, that never freaks me out, that never makes me feel What? I'm trying to, I mean, I'm doing the thing. What thing? The thing where you look at someone meaningfully. I'm seeing your glow. hate doing this over Zoom. Can you even tell I'm looking at you? Uh, and say something. I, I can't interpret what your face is doing right now. I'm, I'm looking at you meaningfully back. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. And do you like me? Like couch and peanut butter and cheese? kind of like? Well, whoa, whoa. I, I don't know about all that. <laughs> but you like me. I do. You like me very much. <sighs> I like you as much as I hate running. <laughs> this is definitely the opposite of running.
we've been friends for a long time. Uh, 20 years. More, I think. Well, I rounded down to make us feel younger. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to run with me, weren't you? I probably would have caved. Why did you start? Just wanted to feel good. <laughs> and nothing else worked. And on TV, they make it sound like it'll change your life. And as much as you hate it, I thought I could talk you into doing it with me. And that, that felt nice. Like, knowing that was nice. It's nice to know. Hmm. Yeah. It is. Nice to know. I'm almost finished with this. Oh, it's a paint by number. It's the one you gave Terry. And she didn't want it. Lurg. Lurg. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. I'm sure. You always do things all the way. I mean, you are always all the way in. I am. Hmm. Always. Always. <laughs>